Hi everybody, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and today we're gonna today's Mask Make Monday is going to be double pocket belly bands. And this is just a very simple fold idea, and, and as you can see, I have this whole stack pre-folded. And so all you do is you just take a piece of paper, and it doesn't matter. I happen to be using book page. I really like using book page, but it could be any, you know, any paper you want that's the height that you want. And um, you just fold it over, but don't match your edges. This one I left quite wide because I really liked this particular image here. I thought it played off of this very well. This would go really well in like a more of a graphic-y science mystery type journal. Um, however, oh and on this one as well, I was thinking that he was just super cute. This little whatever he is. Ermine? Ermine? It's a weasel. So, um, but he's cute. And so I'm just going to fold it like that to show the, the image. But then on this one, I'm going to fold it this way. So that way the the words are the the main, you know, focal point of that. And you can see that there is a difference in how they look, when, depending on which way you fold them with these dictionary pages. So um, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew these together. And I will be right back. And I'm back. So I've sewn these, and I've done some inking on some of them, not all of them. I just happen, I just use whatever thread I happen to have um, threaded up at the time. I don't necessarily take it out and make sure I always have a neutral color. This is, uh, there's green and brown and orange. So, um, but that's how they look when they're all finished. Well, I guess not. They're, you know, finished enough to, to, to mount. And I also did another stack over here of different kinds of book pages. So you can kind of get an idea of what they, what it looks like with the diff different types of paper. Um, just make sure that the, the weight of paper you're using is, is a decent weight. You know, you don't want to use something too thin or if you do double it up. So I was thinking I could take one of these really like this guy so and put it in this journal and I was thinking we would mount it right here so that way you guys could see what it looks like all finished and then I will also show a no so way here in just a second so we just glue because this is a belly band so I'm just gonna glue just a little bit along each edge that way it will no. okay. okay so I have glued each edge and now I'm just going to set it down it's a little bit shorter than the page but I actually like that a little bit of reveal you know not on every page but I do like it in this case and so there we go now it's mounted in there and then this is just, this is a little journal card that's, um, or an altered playing card. Let's see. Did I do it like that? No. Okay. So you can see how it has pocket, a pocket here and a pocket here. And then also, go ahead and press that down just a little bit. And then there's also the belly band. All the way down, all the way up. So that's how they work. We'll go ahead and let that dry for a second and then we'll check something better. Well, bigger, not better, but bigger behind it. I was also wanting to show another another way of doing this is to go ahead and do your fold. I do like to, to leave it offset. I don't you could fold it all the way and then punch the with the you know put out, take a little thumb hole out with your punch, but I like this way better, but you could also just do the fold and then staple it closed instead of sewing it. And then you just tuck it in as far as you can on one edge to get your inner pocket there. Come on. Am I out of staples? Nope, not a staples. Oh, 
There we go. One more. And then we turn it around and put staples across this edge. Obviously, if you have a long reach stapler, you can do it with that as well. So kind of bent up those first ones. So maybe instead of doing that first, you do the middle first and then do the edge. Um, that would be the better way to go there. But that's another look. Or you could, of course, always just do the same thing. Only um, just glue it. You know, just, just use your glue. So, and then you can put your middle line wherever you want. I'm just going to follow this line of text right there. It actually doesn't need to come out that far. The glue. <laughs> I went too far in that first one. Let's go ahead and wipe that off a little bit. There we go. And then just fold it over. And there you go. And you've still got your, your double pocket in there. Get rid of that extra glue. There we go. And you've still got your pockets. That center section, you know, anchored. You might want to go ahead and add some sort of, um, like, you know, bit of ribbon or something across wherever you glued it to denote that it's there. Yeah, let's go ahead and add that bit. Grab my scissors. Double check where my where my middle where I actually anchored it. Okay, so it is just right there. Yep. Okay. So which one? Do we want to use the butterflies? No, oh, I cut the cut the hearts already. Let's go ahead and just use those. And just a little bit more of our glue. Just and it just needs to be just a little bit the fabric fix it's good about not blobbing up through your fabric but you know if you want to give it some movement you don't want to put a um, you know a huge amount of glue there and and have it really get fixed you want to let it anchor it but still maybe not grab all of the edges say i left it a little loose on the edges so it's a little bit more tactile or, you know, if you really like to glue things down really firmly, go ahead and feel free to do that too, of course. And so, there's several different methods of creating this, this um, double pocket belly band. And we'll check on this one again. Now it's had a chance to dry. I'm going to grab one of our longer bookmarks so you can see how that works so nicely. So thank you so much for joining me for this Mass Make Monday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I have videos that come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for joining me.